guys, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be talking about a school project. So guys, you know, if you want to do it, then skip ahead. But otherwise, you can stay tuned. So here's my fire plan just to like help my family a little bit. But first, I want to do that, like if the fire was outside, because I didn't really make a plan for that. But if you, if the fire was outside and you guys were in the house, have someone call 911. And if the fire is close to you, go to the safest spot in your home. But if the fire is, like, not that close to you, then you have to try to escape, get in your car, and, like, drive away. But you won't want to find the opposite direction that the fire is going. Okay. Now, here's my fire plan. Um, so, number, this is just, like, normal protocol. So, first, you want to scoop down the stairs or fall to the closest door to get outside. Get pets if you can. So, you guys may be wondering why... Why scoop down? Like, why why get down low? It's because smoke tends to go up to the ceiling, like, right there. And, um, smoke tends to go up to the ceiling. And if you inhale a lot of smoke, then you can pass out, which I'm guessing everybody knows, and that's not good. Alright, number two, go to your meeting spot that is outside. Now, if you guys do not have a meeting spot that is outside, then when you guys are going over your drill or something, then you would want to go over where you would want to meet your meeting spot. And then lastly, once everybody or most people is safe and outside, um, then you would want to call 911. Now, if you do not have the phone because fires can happen in the most random times, if you guys do not have a phone, then you can go over to one of your neighbors and ask them to call 911. Also, to be polite and kind, if you guys want to, like, if somebody, if there is more than one person outside or you at the meeting spot, and then you can send, like, one person to, like, a couple of neighbors' houses to warn them that there is a fire in your house. Okay, so that's just, like, normal protocols, but say that you were in a room with a closed door, because, again, Fires can happen in the most random times. So first, what you will want to do is you want to you would want to feel the door or the door handle. If the door is warm, then you want to stay in the room. If the door is cold, then you can come out and um, attend the normal protocols that I just explained. But if the door is warm, number two, if the door is warm, go to the window that is far away from the fire and climb out of the window. Now, if my, like, in my room, my window, like, kind of needs on top of a roof. If that, if that's the case, great, good for you. But if it isn't the like case, then you might have a little bit of trouble. You would want to stay in the window, or, like, stay, like, with the window open and stuff. But you would want to have somebody call 911. Um, again, go have a phone, go up to the neighbors, ask them, all that good stuff. And... If you have a ladder, then you would want to climb, use the ladder to climb down and go to the meeting spot. But say that you do not have a ladder. Again, call 911. So that is basically it for the thing. Um, I hope that this can help you guys with something. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!